I will never forget it. I had just graduated from the Metro State, at the time, College of Denver. <laughs> and as the euphoria, excitement, and celebration started to subside, I decided to go visit my parents. We laughed, we talked, we joked, and eventually, the conversation turned to them, wondering, William, now that you've graduated, and you, we are so proud, <laughs> what are you going to do next? And for me, the answer was simple, teach. I had always wanted to be a teacher, and graduating from college only made me want to make this dream a reality. So I told them I would find a full-time social studies teaching position and teach. Then, with all the love in her heart, <laughs> my lovely, lovely mother says to me, well, you might need to cut your hair <laughs> and clean yourself up a bit. And of course, Papa Bear had to chime in. Of, stop with all the tattoos. You're going to have to cover those up on a job interview. Now let me say, I arguably have the best parents in the world. And I believe their concern came from nothing but a place of love. Now, were they wrong? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Cut my hair? At the time, I had been growing it for three years. Now I'm on 12. <laughs> Stop getting tattoos? At the time, I had half sleeves on both arms, none even past my elbows. Okay? And I told my parents that day, that if a school doesn't want to hire me because of my long hair and my tattoos, I don't want to work at that school anyway. <laughs> me and my parents have no beef or ill will due to this conversation. Let me just put that out there now. <laughs> because I think their thinking just reflected the world that's around them. A world that says, if you want to be a professional, you have to dress a certain type of way. And if you want to be a professional, you have to cut your hair a certain type of way. And if you want to be a professional, you can't have tattoos and piercings because tattoos and piercings mean... <laughs> I actually don't know what people think those things mean. But apparently, they think it means something that equals unemployable. <laughs> Currently, businesses and institutions have codes of conduct outlining what is and is not allowed in their place of business or institution. These codes of, codes of conduct include, but are not limited to, no braids, no dreadlocks, no afros, wait a minute, seems to all target black people's hair, but we'll, we'll save that conversation for a different day. These policies include, but are not limited to, no visible tattoos, and if you have tattoos, they have to be covered up by clothes or natural colored band-aids. They police <laughs> piercings, facial hair, and all under the guise of keeping up with corporate culture. These policies have become so ubiquitous that in 2019, this year, California and New York had to put laws on its books outlawing discrimination on hiring due to hairstyles. In particular, natural hairstyles, again, mostly targeting brothers and sisters, but another time, another time. Overall, my question for these places is why? What is it about long hair and tattoos that you have turned me and others like me, and we are many, into radicals 
just for expressing ourselves. Radicals, defined as different from the usual or traditional. And hell yeah, I'm a radical. We are radical. We are not the traditional. We are not the, the old school. We may look unusual because we color our hair in our skin and we walk and we talk a little different than you do. But we are still brilliant. We still... We still want to help change the world and be future leaders. We radicals were teachers, doctors, lawyers, chefs, secretaries, janitors, bus drivers, physicists, astrophysicists, uh, <laughs> you name it, anything that you will give us an opportunity to be. Hablamos Espanol, Francais, Swahili, African American vernacular English. Yes, that's a thing. <laughs> we, some of us, we were born in America. Some of us, are born in Mexico, Kenya, Norway, Korea, Australia, Afghanistan, Iraq, places all over the world. We're straight, we're gay, we're everything in between. But we are brilliant radicals, and we want to help your businesses and your institutions become bigger, faster, stronger, more open, more accessible, and hell, more profitable. And I think you need to understand that we radicals, we create our own opportunities as well. For every door you close in front of us, we radicals create our own doors. And for every time on the application it says, no visible tattoos need apply, you just inspired a radical to create a version of your business or institution that is without its limits and its judgments. I don't say this to start a division. This is not us versus you. Truly, we need you. But I also think you need us. Watch the news a week, and you can see how much the world needs radicals. Whether it's radical teenagers helping develop video games, or radical women helping universities and college eliminate rape culture, or radical black fashion consultants letting the fashion houses know, hey, black face ain't Cool. <laughs> we radicals, we bring something to the table, and we want you to eat as well. The late, great Frederick Douglass once said, I believe in individuality, but individuals to the masses are like waves to the ocean. We all differ as waves but are one as the sea. We radicals are just a wave in this great big ocean. You don't want to fight against the wave. You want to ride with it. And I'm so thankful that I've been able to live my radical life. Over the last 12 years, I've had the opportunity that I, opportunities that I can't believe, including I'm here right now. This is enough. <laughs> I have had the opportunity to work for major corporations, nonprofits, for politicians, lobbyists, for school districts, schools, and of course, my amazing, amazing, amazing students. And strangely enough, my long hair, my tattoos, my black skin, and my sagging pants have not stopped me from bringing something dynamic, meaningful, and needed to those conversations. So, this is not just for businesses and institutions, this is for all of us. Let out the inner radical in you. Stop hating on amazing individuals just because they look slightly different and you're stuck in some archaic way of thinking. We are radicals. We have man buns. <laughs> and we're women who decide not to shave their underarms. Talk about it. We ride unicycles and lowriders. 
We listen to Chopin and say show enough. <laughs> we wear t-shirts and tuxedos, sweats and suits, high heels and Chuck Taylors. Hey, we're abled and disabled. We're black, white, orange, yellow, pink, purple, and any color you can imagine. But we are radicals. We're brilliant. We want to change the world. And we are the vanguard. Thank you.